equilibrium amounts are not changing. So I have 1 mole of N2, 3 moles of H2 and 2 moles of NH3 at equilibrium. So their amounts are not changing. So for example, I again have a container, a closed vessel and the pressure inside it is 1 into 10 to the power of 5 pascals which is about atmospheric pressure. This is 1 into 10 to the power of 5 pascals. This is almost atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric is our, our pressure is around 1.01 into 10 to the power of 5 pascals. But for now, let's take the pressure inside this vessel as 1 into 10 to the power of 5 pascals. So this is my um, this is my closed vessel with a pressure of 1 into 10 to the power of 5 pascals. Now we have something called a mole fraction. A mole fraction is basically the um, the proportion of the substance of a substance in the react in the reaction mixture so in this case we have one mole of N N2 three moles of H2 and two moles of NH3 in the reaction mixture I'm sorry I forgot the two over here so we have one mole of N2 three moles of H2 and two moles of NH3 in the reaction mixture so the mole fraction of N2 mole mole fraction of N2 of N2 will be 1 upon 6 and it will be 1 upon 6 because the total number of moles at equilibrium is 6 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 2 6 so the total number of moles at equilibrium is 6 however I have only uh, out of these 6 moles only 1 mole is N2 so the proportion of N2 in the equilibrium mixture is 1 by 6 then again the mole fraction of H2 will be 3 by 6 because which is the same as half because I have 3 moles of H2 among the 6 moles present in the equilibrium mixture and then the mole fraction of NH3 this will be 2 by 6 because I have 2 moles in total. So uh, 2 moles of NH3 in total among the 6 moles in the equilibrium mixture. So in this case uh, when I add all of these 1 by 6 plus 3 by 6 is 4 by 6. 4 by 6 plus 2 by 6 is 1. So the proportion is complete. 1 means complete. So these are my mole fractions. This is called mole fraction. Uh, the fraction in moles of the substance in the equilibrium mixture and then I have something called partial pressure so partial pressure is denoted by a small p so I can write p of N2 partial pressure of N2 is mole fraction of N2 multiplied by the total pressure so the total pressure is 1 into 10 to the power of 5 partial pressure of N2 is the basically the pressure contributed by N2 among the 1 into 10 to the power of 5 pascals there must be some amount only because of the N2 molecules so this is the partial pressure of N2 which is the mole fraction of N2 into the total pressure then the partial pressure of H2 is the mole fraction of H2 into the total pressure And the partial pressure of NH3, which is PNH3, is the mole fraction of NH3 into the total pressure. So these are the partial pressures. Now we know what is mole fraction and we know what is partial pressure. So now Kp, which is the equilibrium constant, is basically the partial pressure of the products raised to the power of their stoichiometric coefficients so it will be P and H3 raised to the power of 2 because the stoichiometric coefficient of NH3 is 2 then I have P H2 which is To the raised to the power of 3 because the stoichiometric coefficient of H2 is 3.
3 then I have Pn2 raised to